today we're going to be installing some nice little LED interior lights that go at your feet so that they look pretty damn cool like this right here and if you look at them you can see that they're pretty far down and they're hard to see so you have to get at a really really low angle to see them and they light up pretty good so let's go ahead and get started with this okay well for today's project we're going to be using a heat gun a drill a glue gun to seal our contacts LEDs some plexiglass which is why we need the heat gun a spool of wire some tie downs for the wires the drill bits solder and the high temperature glue that way it doesn't melt in your car you'll also be needing a soldering iron seems like a lot of tools but the heat gun is only used because we're making a small base for the LEDs to sit on that's so that you can put them how you want them and they won't they'll stay for good it's kind of hard to make them stick to your car just like that so we're going to be using this and then we're going to drill a hole in this place the bolts to hold the LEDs in place and you guys should be good to go so you can skip this step if you have uh, something else in mind maybe like aluminum or or another another type of metal maybe something just to, to hold the thing in place but I chose plexiglass because that's what I had on hand and I thought it was pretty easy just so you could fold it with the heat gun I cut out the piece already I'll file this down right now and bring it down a little bit but all that is cosmetic. What we're worried about now is placing the LEDs. This is going to go pretty close to the frame of the, the, the firewall, I'm sorry, of the car. So what we're probably going to end up doing here is placing these on top and putting a fold right here on the plexiglass. I'm going to probably put a piece of wood across here, squeeze it with a clamp, and then we'll go ahead and take the adhesive back into these off, place them here, drill the holes on the bottom, I'm just going to cut it, I'm going to angle it from perfectly flat, just a little, I'm angle it a little higher just so that the LEDs shine down because if you put them flat, they're going to be shining on the back of, if you're putting on the driver's side, they'll probably be shining the steering wheel more than anything. Okay, so the LEDs fit here pretty nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the adhesive backing and wire up these LEDs. If you wanna learn how to wire these, I'm not gonna show it in this video, but you can click on the link on your screen right now. And that video will show you how to wire these up. Okay, so now that all four of the wires have been soldered on, I'm gonna put some hot glue just to keep them from moving and wait for it to dry. Okay, while this dries, let's go ahead and get our drill ready. We're going to go ahead and drill a hole onto this plexiglass. We're going to be using these screws right here. A drill bit to match these screws as a pilot hole. To make a pilot hole, I'm sorry. And then start uh, drilling a hole onto this piece of plexiglass. So we'll try and space them evenly. Let's go ahead and do it now. Test out the holes. They definitely do seem to fit pretty nicely. Okay, so now that we are pretty much ready, let's go ahead and go to the car and start deciding where we're going to place them exactly. I temporarily placed it, I kind of just set it there just so that it stays. I don't know if you can see it there, but I just placed it and it looks like it's going to stay pretty nice here. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes where I need to and hopefully it permanently mounts and then we'll start running the wires. So I'll go ahead, we're going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and drill it right about here. Seems like a good place to put it. Not so we've placed it already. We're ready to go. The next step would be identifying where the power is going to come from. I have a door switch. You can see it. All right. Probably right there. It's a little hard to angle the camera, but this is it right here. This button. When the door opens, releases and grounds. And I'm going to wire it to the switch over here. But that wire I found runs all the way to where the radio is. But in there. And I'm going to run the wire all the way over there. So 
this is where I'm gonna run it to. You might have to look online, maybe a, a dome light switch or something to find out where you're gonna run yours to. Okay, now that we have our positive right here, with this yellow wire was the positive, I got it from the radio input. It's always on positive, that's why I chose it. We're gonna choose a ground, and that's the wire I'm telling you that connects from the door pin. And that should do it. Now we put everything back together, cut off this extra wire that I didn't need because it was a green and I don't want green. And that should do it. Here's the finished product. It looks pretty damn cool if you ask me. So that right there is right at your feet. And it doesn't really shine up anywhere, so it doesn't bother the driver or anybody else. It's just like a little courtesy light. It looks very nice. It is pretty bright too, so you can see where your feet are. So if you have a dirty mat, you might want to be cleaning it now. No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's a little harder to show on the camera because the camera doesn't pick up the purple light very well. It looks really, really cool. Don't forget to subscribe. If uh, you guys like the videos, hit that like button. It gives me the motivation to make more. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.